What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are gonna be completely overhauling our Roush Mustang in literally one single video. We're gonna be going from suspension to wheels to supercharger to fuel system. All of this car is going to be touched today, and from start to finish, this is going to turn out to be one badass giveaway car. Let me show you what we got. Over here, already laid out on the car, we've got our new wheels, which you guys have already seen from Signature. Those things are just ridiculous. Under the hood, you guys probably just saw Daniel struggling to carry over our massive new three liter Whipple, but we're gonna have it turned down, of course. Being that it is a giveaway car, it'll be on a big pulley, but this car is going to have the power capabilities to just be nutty one day for whoever may win it, or just saying if anybody <laughs> you know, wanted to take the cash, we would make it nutty. Also on the ground here, we've got some new Sita suspension. We've got coilovers front and rear that we're gonna be installing. New sway bars, so that way on track, this thing is gonna be a monster. Pan hard bar for alignment, and of course a clutch to hold down all the power with a new flywheel. Up top on the table is all of our accessories that we need for the Whipple. We've got a few different cool things that we're gonna be showing you guys, but that's all just super minor details for now. Let's go ahead and get started transforming this Roush Mustang from an already crazy looking car to be just an absolute monster by the end of the video. So let's hop into it. Oh yeah, baby. It's been a bit since we've had a video filmed on a GoPro on a hey. Oh yeah, can we actually announce in this video that Poe moved to Atlanta finally? Yeah. Holy shit, this is video number one where Poe is actually living here now. And he will be over here in the shop with us quite a bit. Kick it. First wheels off. All right, let's go. How, how it, how it look? Oh, oh really shit. Very bold. Now we have a general idea of how good this thing is going to look. Time to get stripping. All right, you got lights to disconnect, I think. This is pretty cool. This is the first time that we've actually had true work being done on an S197 on this channel and this is like definitely i would say this is our audience's favorite generation mustang almost probably the s5 f550s but surely behind the s550 it's got to be an s197 dude oh don't forget guys use your half inch milwaukee impact with almost 400 foot pounds of torque to loosen your 10 millimeter bolts on your aluminum block oh Nice. Oh, dude. We're gonna tape off these runners real quick so that way we can get started with the next steps. We gotta freaking trim up our valve covers and trim a few different things. And after that trimming is done, we will be ready to go with putting our Whipple on, dude. This thing is gonna look nice. Hey, safety first, brother. Are you sure you want those Crocs and two-wheel drive for what you're about to do? Oh, oh shit. Put the hub lockers on, dude. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Oh shit, that's FedEx? Oh, I give you a hint, it's big. Huge thanks to Clayton Off-Road, thank you. All this for three inches. Hey, bro. You couldn't just be happy with what you got. Hey, that could be a lot for some people. Three and a half inch lift and 37 inch tires coming to a 392 near you very soon. This is gonna be crazy. Actually, after this, it might be the next video. Probably. Probably end up being the next video if we get tires. Shit! Sounds on a Jeep! God bless America. We got a lot of water lines, coolant lines, things like that, all taken off and out of the way. Coolant necks removed. Pretty much getting down to a bare timing cover up front. It looks like we might have to redo a few components with the new stuff. Ooh, did not drop. All right, next up, we're gonna remove our tensioner now that the belt is out of the way. Oh, that's why. We're about to do an HD tensioner, baby. Yeah! Woo! Mo power, baby. All right, guys, so next we need to modify our cooling system. So these are the passenger side and, of course, the driver side cooling rails. We're going to take these top cooling lines up here, and we are going to cut it at this supplied line that we marked already. There we go. All right, let's see how these work. Apparently, you just slip that on like so and then tighten it down via heat. <laughs> Do you feel the heat? Yeah, it's wonderful hot breath on my face. Yes, it feels so good with the outside temperature, the ambient air temp. So all the cooling line modifications have been done. So it looks like, I don't know what the instruction book says, but is this the part where we do the thing? Or still no? No. Transfer <laughs> stock O-ring from stock water neck to new water neck. Society's got you living for a whack cause. You're a f***ing adult with no skills at all. We should drop this entire rack of wrenches into the engine bay. 
So now we gotta pull out three of these bolts here, and this is gonna be where our new idler plate mounts. <laughs> oh, these bolts smell like boot hole. There you go. It's a weird smell, huh? Yeah, that's what everything that goes into the block smells like. It's like a weird smell. Block bolts smell funny. Here's the tensioner. Dude, this is such a sick ass tensioner. My God. Benny, would you want to torque this to 18 foot pounds? Can try. Take it slow though. That's probably tight enough. That's yeah, 18 that's foot pounds, tight. I'm pretty sure. That's good. All right, next up, we literally pull the lid off of this blower, dude. Oh man, I can't wait Ooh. to see this. Never done this. We're gonna be careful as can be. Whoa. Oh, that's, that's the bricks. Right Please go back and pull up a fucking clip mm -hmm. of the black car's intercooler brick. Like this much was what it was all shoving through for yeah. the black car. Just like always carefully lube the O-rings. Always wipe your excess on the nearest object. All right, we're gonna carefully slip this whole fuel rail with all these injectors down up in a place. It's aluminum. I have to remind myself as I torque. Yeah, aluminum. That, that, that one's a beep too. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna make so much fucking boost. It has the capability to make so much boost that you literally need boost line to seal the lid onto that motherfucker, dude. Because it's like wanting to blow the lid off. Now, I'm not a professional, but I feel confident about that seal. That was pretty good. You're a professional. Really? You got a butt. Yeah, you do this shit for a living. That is crazy to think about. Yeah. What the? <laughs> Where is the oil fill? Oil fill port. And there we go. And now we can take our bottle and squeeze that all in there. There you go. Right at half. We're about to find out if this was worth it, dude. This has been two to three months of talk and we have just now gotten to this freaking point of having this in hand. Wow, interesting approach. The back is gonna have to tip down and go in first. There you go. Oh my God. I think you're about in place. Holy shit. Sorry. You are supercharged now. What the frick? Jeez, we have come a long way. Let's throw back to whenever we did the first pulley swap on the black car in the parking lot of the freaking Sonic apartments. Oh, look, whenever you pump it backwards. <laughs> oh, it's blowing air out. Pump it forwards, backwards, back forwards, backwards. All right, we're gonna find out if this thing has clearance issues. They said that this lid is literally such a large portion of the supercharger in conjunction with it already just being a large supercharger that it might not even fit. Are we touching already? Yeah, you're touching. Okay, I just wanted to get it in place mounted. So it's, you God bless, <laughs> dude. <laughs> I can't take it. I just gotta know. Yeah, might as well put one on. <sighs> oh. Now we gotta get some touch up paint and just fill in the letters with green. <gasps> no. Don't play, dude. I got the touch up in here. Don't do it right now. Do it oh. right now. Tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Welcome back. It is day two. We almost have this thing put together. We're finishing up the last little bit of stuff whenever we came across a very funny discovery. To the average eye, you wouldn't know what that is. That is aftermarket, right? And I noticed back behind here, look at this trimming of this plastic, right? That shit's for the fucking, there was a brake duct cooler on this bitch at one point. This was a fucking track car, dude, at one point, for real. Look on the back of the fucking. Oh! I mean, it's it's aftermarket control arms Yo. and spindles. Oh, oh shit! I didn't even look at this. These have you looked at these brakes? They're two-piece rotors. These are not stock. Don't look at the fucking. Yeah, the that's where the hose hooks up the cool motor. Oh shit! <laughs> all right, guys. Now that the heat exchanger is in place, we're ready to run our lines for the cooling lines. That's going to keep all the water flowing through here, which of course is going to run through the blower. So we need. This big doohickey, we don't want to go that way, but we do want to go up in here. I will say that I love Whipples so far, but I will say that they got a lot of fucking, they got a lot of hoses. Oh yeah. That tank looking icy. Daniel's working on the, oh, damn. Daniel's working on this video while we're filming this video. Y'all wanted videos out quicker. Well, here you go. We're working on it, damn it. Is that tires? Please tell me. Yes. yes. Oh. Let's go. Thank you so much, Kumo. On Lil Jeep, we have a 33 inch tire. Dale's Hummer, we have a 35. And on Earl, the 392, we have the entire 37 here. 
This is pretty sick, dude. The exact same tire, but we've just got three different sizes. Coming soon. Coming very, very soon. Anyway, all right, guys. Up next, it is time to get our freaking sticker out of the way. Oh, damn, this is nice. This is a vinyl whole decal, basically. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Look in there. Stock throttle body is in place. Now we just got to tighten this down. Next intake, and we are pretty much wrapped up on the top side, dude. Oh, boy. Damn. That is big, bro. At this point, we have one pulley that we were missing, and we tried to run the factory one there, but actually, it turns out the aftermarket one's half an inch smaller. So the belt that we have is not gonna work. So we need to wait just a few more days until we get this aluminum pulley in. In the meantime though, we've got a bore scope in hand here. We're gonna go ahead and run this into the spark plug holes where we are removing the plugs to see inside of this engine. We learned that in the Roush Gen 1 Mustangs like this, you opted in from factory, you could have the option to pay for forged internals and a built engine in this thing, which is pretty crazy. This car was pretty decently modified with all of the right stuff, which leads us to believe there is a chance that there may be engine modifications. So there you guys can see, you can even see the two cutouts on the piston for the valves and we can switch camera angles here. And you can, oh my God, they're open. Yo, look at that. Nice cross hatching. Duh. Next portion of our install takes place under here. I've never taken an S197 Mustang's rear seat out. So I hope that it is similar to an S550's. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that fuel pump area up there. All right, so we gotta grab this little ring here. And we gotta hit the spin on it. Oh, it's hitting the leak. Oh, I see. Oh, that's more than a leak. There's a little more than a leak. <laughs> we don't have any napkins, huh? No. Ah, can no. I have a microfiber? <laughs> Are we... Neat. Oh, uh, does this come out of here? Are you for real, dog? Uh, dog, the... <laughs> That's how manhole covers work right there, dog. Actually, yo, 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 them red tin snips. Tin, tin, no. Tin snips, so serious. <laughs> chill, this ain't chill. No, I know, I knew it wasn't either, but I was just wanting to get y'all ready for it. Keep the troops motivated. Yeah. Bro, nobody's even gonna know this car we've never been into. Oh yeah, that's a fact. Ah, hey, I'm a man. A man of ingenuity, but I don't know how to get this other bit. Where's, where's that fuel coming from, bro? It's coming from the oh. tank. Ah! Ah! Oh. oh no! Oh, bro, oh shit on me! Oh shit on me! Oh shit on! Oh shit! blankets? Bro, I don't know what else to put, but damn, that's a volume of fuel right there. What happened? Bro, it's a long story. Hey, good news, guys. What's the good news? The ring's out. <laughs> Check out our operation here, baby. The operandus. So Poe is over here on the table working on the fuel basket. We're going to go grab fluid so that way we can get this thing running tonight. Also, our route, I have to do emissions on the little Jeep, so we got to get a title for that thing. So in order to do that here, we got emissions. We haven't been in this thing in a bit, man. Let's go. Little Jeep. Oh, yeah. All right, $22 mission. Hell yeah. Nah. It did not pass. It didn't? It did not. Oh my lord, okay. It's got these two codes right here that's in it. Yikes. Alrighty. Well, that's gonna be fun. Already I got a response back from the dealer and he was like, oh dude, no problem, bring it by. We'll get everything fixed, get those codes cleared and we'll have it good to go for you. At no cost to us. So we're gonna go bring this thing back. He's gonna fix it, get all the codes cleared and then we just gotta do this again, so. No big deal. I just gotta call Daniel real quick and see if they'll pick us up. Oh, it's back together? Oh, snap. Damn, you made fast work of that. Check this out. Stock fuel hat, DW pump, everything is good to go. This is gonna flow all the fuel that we need to pump and power this big old Whipple under here, baby. We got the DW injectors as well. Let's go ahead now, get our stock fuel hat put back in place. Oh, you put the nozzle in there. Let's go. How the did I even do this, dude? I don't even think I was doing this shit. I think somebody else came in here and did this or something. Oh. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> we got to throw a back seat in here and we are done with our Whipple install, baby! My goodness, we're going to get all this nasty old suspension out of the way and of course replace it with our beautiful new Stita stuff. It looks strikingly similar to the factory Roush stuff, but of course, much, much better quality and much newer. Mm. 
These are press fit like bunnies. Oh yeah, I forgot. I don't know why I thought that like, <laughs> there was anything left that was holding that. Yes, sir. Okay. Old shocks, man. So these are definitely the OEM factory Roush suspension. All right. Other strut is off. Usually do be very hard. Oh my gosh, bro. The lift, that shit's... Tell me about it, dude. Let's go. All right, let's grab our nice new sway bar, get some oily handprints on them. Yep. All right, back towards me. Look at that, baby. That's an actuating sway bar right there. So first step that we do is we take whichever size puck that we think fits. That one's too small. So we're gonna get this big ass one. And we're gonna say, oh, that bit fit real nice. What did that happen? I think it did the strip. Oh, no. My cool thing. There you go. What? All of it fell apart. All right, so we are at a little bit of a delay yet again. Let me explain this. So the top hats of our old Roush struts, these are adjustable camber plates. They're really, you know, helpful whenever you're aligning the car. Unfortunately, whenever we took this one apart, it all just kind of fell apart into a bunch. Oh yeah, we don't wanna. Look, look at the, yeah, dude. Like this bearing just fell apart and it wasn't a good, it's just not a great time. So anyways, we're waiting on uh, new top hats to get here and then that's gonna allow us to throw the entire suspension back together up in the front. So we're kind of at a stopping point with that, but we're gonna go ahead and work on the rear. We've already got the rear sway bar out of the way, which means that the next steps we can do is get this pan hard bar out of the way. Also remove our rear shocks and then to get started removing the rear coil springs. Once those are replaced, we'll obviously be able to throw everything back together and our rear end will be done, baby. And I think we're gonna be cranking and banking. Cranking and banking. And we're gonna be skirting and yeah, oh, we're gonna be skirting. They, they don't know. Talking about how he wants to drift it. Bro, this is a drift car, man. <laughs> this is it right here. I'm about to literally break myself. My personal savings is gonna be wiped out and I'm offering you guys cash right here for this car if you win. Yeah. Oh, oh, drop the axle down, got me like, no. oh, spring just dropping out straight the bottom axle, like, oh. Axle life. I think yeah. I'm gonna need a dang hammer. Oh, sure. okay. oh, you're right. Here's the new guy right here. The new guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's looking good under here now. We got the steed of shock action going on, with the steed of pan hard bar. Bro, we're new age cavemen. <laughs> we can slip our new sway bar mount in place just like so. Check this out from a fan actually. We got a package over here and he started his very own carbon fiber company and he was just saying thank you guys so much for the inspiration and doing so, all that good stuff. And so he sent us something over for the Roush. Wait, is this a racing wheel you're putting in there? So this was his oh, spec. What? He said that he wanted to surprise us with something. It's a pretty interesting one. God. Yes. Ooh, 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 ooh. That bitch is actually ooh, pretty ooh, bad. It's got the rev light on top. Damn. Huge thanks to C2 Customs. Guys, if you want to go check out his wheels, he can make custom wheels for literally almost any car under the sun. And of course it is a fan-made channel. So that's like, or a fan-made company, sorry. So that's like, I don't know, that's pretty awesome, man. Now, as you guys see underneath here, we have officially removed the transmission. We're gonna be putting in a new clutch, a new flywheel, and you know, spicing up the transmission a little bit, getting a fluid change, getting a new throw out bearing inside of the front of here. Because whenever we put this thing back together, we're gonna need that to hold a good bit of power. So once we get our new clutch and everything in, it's gonna be awesome. And speaking of, let me just go ahead and crank this mug out here and show y'all what we got. So we have from Exidy or Exidy, how do you pronounce it? Does anybody know? Exidy. All right, that is a very nice earled up freaking flywheel. Here we go, fresh can. Like Danny said, we got some brake parts cleaner because we need to clean our surface of all this packaging lube. This is really just here to keep surface rust out of there. <laughs> Hell yeah. Rubbing all that earl out of there and watching this brake parts cleaner just freaking dissolve into thin air. 
All right, check that out. Beautiful clean flywheel in place. We can go ahead and set our torque wrench to 70 foot pounds now. And if you wouldn't mind with that baby thing, hold that thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, wait. Hey, oh, wait. Oh, shit. Are you? All right, here we have it. Clutch disc on a platter. Just for you, Danny. Dude, do you think you could actually bite a clutch? I don't want to. Yes. Yeah, I've just bit a clutch. You can bite the clutch. Bro, I've never bitten a clutch before, so hopefully this shit. That was the first. I've Watch never it, seen that. I'm really glad that we can experience new things wow. together like this. Look, look at that pink clutch. Look at that pretty pink clutch in there. If it don't hit the, what are you doing? Oh, oh, that's it right there, Danny. Oh, oh, there it is. oh, yeah, you just gotta be good at it, you know. Let's see what you got. Looks like it's lined up pretty well. Give it a, give it a whip. Oh, oh that, that was good, good one, yeah. You said it was what, what, foot pounds? 35 foot pounds plus 60 degrees. Oh, brother. <laughs> plus, how many degrees is this? 60. Ah, I don't think we need 60 with that. That's a lot. Yeah, I don't know if I like that. And now Daniel will hit the wiggle with it. I think it's gonna slide. Oh yes, sir. Yes. That was a that is what the people right enjoy to see. Oh That's what the people God. really <laughs> have a great right. time with. All right, well, after a quick walkthrough underneath the car, I believe that we are finished up. As you guys see, the transmission is put back in place with the new clutch inside, new flywheel. We've got our exhaust back in place, drive shaft, and of course, our whole entire rear suspension back here finished up. Those shocks, the springs, the sway bar, pan hard bar, all of it looks pretty freaking amazing. Those links are just crazy, man. I've never seen anything like this on a car before. Guys, we are assembling the freaking front strut and check this out. These HD upper strut mounts look sick in here, man. Dust cover in place, spring in place. We're getting ready to remove this compressor, which is gonna then push all of this and press it into place and we'll be ready to install after that. Yeah, it's working out well. It is. The new compressor doing a lot better than the old one. Yeah, in fact. Oh, oh, dude, that's perfect. That. That's so nice. Front strut assembled and ready to get into the car. All right, bump stop in place, dust cover. Wow. What a good time to start recording. <laughs> Am I? Why is everything strobing? What? Someone probably hit a Why car or something. Or we got a tornado coming down the road. Guys, we always say that it rains whenever good stuff happens, but man, this is looking a little creepy now. It's like, look at this, ions. bro. The power just went out. For real, we're channeling some energy over here, some ions. shit. I'm releasing them. Are you releasing them? Hell yeah. Wait, whoa, wait. No, nah. no. Nah. That's pretty windy. I don't know if I like that. I'm serious. That sounds like a tornado. We should probably get towards the basement. No, nah. I think that's a tornado. I'm so serious. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get inside. Tara, come on, come on. Go, go, go. Oh my god. That's a trampoline right there. Oh my god. They getting cleared up tonight. Nah, bro. We're literally gonna be stuck with no power, no anything for a long time. Oh shit. Ooh. 